Nobody People is about the emergence uh, into the public eye of these people with superpowers and takes place in a near future America. Um, much of the book is set in New York and in Chicago, but there are also bits set in sort of small town America. And because the book is about finding community and about this idea of found family, the way that those two get sort of contrasted is that uh, a lot of times when people with these powers emerge in, in small towns or in isolation, the, a, a clock gets sort of set ticking uh, as to who's going to find them and, and whether they're going to be brought in by one group or another. The book is written from the point of view of four main characters. The first one is Avi Hirsch, who is uh, what we call a baseline human. He does not have uh, superpowers. And he's kind of the way that we get introduced into this world. He's a reporter. He learns about these people. and he is tasked with sort of bringing them to the public. One of our main characters in the book is Fahima Deeb. Uh, and Fahima is sort of a, a fixer. She has a, a supernatural ability with machines and, and the ability to sort of create uh, a gadget for anything that she needs to have done. And for her, this sort of expands into imagining herself as, as the fixer of anything. She constantly has a plan whether or not that plan is, is good or bad uh, is going to change depending on the situation. But her power really informs who she is as an individual. And then somewhat contrasted with that, we, we're, we'll follow Carrie Norris, who is, uh, when we meet her, uh, about 15 years old. And Carrie doesn't have the, so much the ability to become invisible. Her base state is to be invisible. And she has to consciously work to be, to be seen by the people around her. And again, this shapes how she thinks about, uh, about people like her going public and, and how she interacts with uh, people personally. And uh, another one of our central characters is Kevin Bishop, who is a, a psychic who immediately has access to all of the minds around him. And Kevin has basically appointed himself the leader of, uh, of this group of people, whether or not everyone is on board with that. And it's because of this sense that he sort of already knows best and already knows what everyone wants, uh, which is an interesting thing to play with. And is sort of there's an inherent distrust of that for me, uh, which is really fun to watch how that plays out over the course of the book. I think the main themes of the book are found family and community and this idea of visibility and identity. In terms of found community or found family, uh, I think we, we're seeing and we're, we're relearning that uh, collective action is inherently more powerful than individual action, that we need each other, that we need large groups uh, pulling in the same direction to, to legitimately affect change. And the book is really about how these people, while they have superpowers on their own, don't truly become powerful until they're together as a group.